Shenzhen has played such an important role in the development of manufacturing in China. It's strategically positioned just across from Hong Kong. So when China opened up, Hong Kong businessmen naturally moved manufacturing to Shenzhen for all types of products. Visiting the jewelry manufacturing factories, you could see what a powerhouse Shenzhen is for the global jewelry manufacturing industry. So many types of jewelry and so much production comes out of Shenzhen. It gave me such a feeling of how important it was and how important it was to witness this manufacturing center and what it's doing for the global industry. My visit to the Lorenzo Colored Stone Cutting and Jewelry Manufacturing Factory took me through the entire manufacturing value chain for colored stone jewelry, starting with sorting rough and then sorting preformed stones. The sawing department was very well set up and equipped to make sure that the dust from sawing the stones was kept in an enclosure and vacuumed out so that the cutters wearing masks were protected from breathing any material in that might harm their lungs. In the preform department, the cutters also all wore masks and water was incorporated in the grinding process to help keep the dust from the gems from getting into the air and then into the workers' lungs. The faceting used a two-lap setup where the larger lap on the left was used for the faceting and the smaller lap on the right was used for applying the final polish. This enabled fast cutting and moving to final polish by the same cutter. After cutting and polishing a facet, the cutter could change angles quickly to the next facet. The speed and accuracy of the system was impressive, as was the variety of colored stones being cut and polished. Lorenzo cuts all variety of colored stones, focusing on those other than ruby, emerald, and sapphire in their cutting operation. This lapidary system was also custom built for Lorenzo for left-handed cutters. Most of the cutting industry in Shenzhen is designed for right-handed cutters, so this makes the common custom of hiring away experienced cutters from companies more difficult to do from Lorenzo as they focused on training left-handed cutters from the beginning of their careers. The jewelry design process starts with hand-rendered drawings of new designs. They always start out with a hand-drawn sketch. A variety of templates are incorporated in the hand-drawing process. The next step is to scan the hand-drawing so that they have a document file and then to enhance or clean up the sketch using Microsoft Paint program. The original hand drawing is turned into a digital 3D model using CAD CAM and then approved by the Vice President of Design. From there it goes to a 3D laser printer to be turned into an actual wax model. From the drawing that you saw, the designer draw the, the come out the star. Okay, once uh, reviewed by the uh, BB for their individual team. If they think it's, it's uh, 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 reasonable to, to go ahead, then they will pass all the design to this uh, CAD drawing department. We call it model making department. Then they turn from the hand drawing design to electronic copy, copy as you saw just now over by using a CAD 2000 uh, software. From the electronic copy, they send to this machine. We call it fast prototyping machine. Then runs for six hours by a laser printing, this is a laser printing. Then you can come out the first rubber mold, as you can see, under six hours. Then from here, we cast to get our first silver mold. Then from here, we got the, the, the first mold for this particular design. Then we can uh, have a mass production. The colored stones Lorenzo cuts in their factories, along with sourced stones like sapphire, pearls, and diamonds, go through rigorous quality control and matching procedures during selection for jewelry. Numerous waxes are created by injecting the wax from a wax pot into a rubber mold 
and then carefully removing. Each one of these young ladies will create around 2,000 waxes a day through this process. The waxes are then attached to a tree in preparation for casting into gold. This young lady is setting small diamonds into the wax before casting so that the stones will be set in place once the piece is cast. Lorenzo does this with diamonds and some colored gemstones for saving labor costs. As with many modern jewelry manufacturing factories in Shenzhen, Lorenzo uses microscopes for setting stones, especially with intricate settings and small stones like used with micro pave. The magnification makes a significant improvement when using a beading tool to set very small diamonds. The jewelry polishing department impressed me, as did the other departments, in that it was set up for efficiency, worker safety, and production. Numerous pieces came through to be polished on the wheels charged with Tripoli and Rouge. Lorenzo has a retail division called Enzo, which is strictly for domestic sales in China. They also exhibit at the Hong Kong Gem and Jewelry Fair and have a wide variety of colored stone jewelry for sale from this mine to market company.